Coming up, the Bird family explores the wreck of the Kittywake on Grand Cayman, eight years after Jonathan and Jake explored it to see what has changed. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. It's spring break, so the family and I are heading out on a dive adventure. We take off from gloomy Boston and land in beautiful Grand Cayman. We're staying at Sunset House, one of the premier dive resorts on an island known around the world for its fabulous diving. Grand Cayman is located in the Caribbean, south of Cuba. The family and I have had some fabulous dives. We've seen lots of marine life, healthy reefs, and of course, we've played with stingrays. But today we're heading out on another adventure. Jasmine and Phil ready the boat for a special dive we've been looking forward to doing. It's a short boat ride to the site, but we have time to set up our gear and get ready. Phil gives us a briefing for our dive on the wreck of the Kitty Wake. The USS Kitty Wake was a 251 foot long submarine rescue vessel which served for 50 years in the U.S. Navy, eventually being decommissioned in 1994. In 2011, it was intentionally sunk as an artificial reef on Grand Cayman. If the Kitty Wake sounds familiar, it may be because of this guy. Jake! Hi! How you doing, man? Eight years ago, we got a young fan named Jake scuba certified and took him to Grand Cayman on an adventure. The first dive we did together after he got his certification was the Kitty Wake. At the time, it was a brand new wreck having been sunk only months before. Eight years later, things have changed. Originally, it was nearly upright. But after eight years of storms, the wreck has tipped on its side. The family and I sink down and start exploring at the stern, checking out the giant propeller. Back when Jake and I dove here, the prop was completely out of the sand. But now the ship has settled so much that one blade of the prop is completely buried. We swim up and over the wreck and into the ship. Because there are so many openings, you're never out of sight of an exit, so this is completely safe for experienced divers like us. Because the ship is tilted on its side, it gives divers a weird vertigo. My brain has a hard time interpreting which way is up, but Elisa's bubbles go straight up. room we can find one of the V12 engine blocks that once powered the ship. Eventually Liam leads the way up through the smokestack back into the blue. Back when Jake and I dove the Kitty Wake, the wreck was so new that there was barely any marine growth. But now the ship is covered in red encrusting sponges, coral, and algae. Jake had a great time playing with the wheel on the bridge as if he was driving the ship. Now the wheel's covered in growth that Elise doesn't want to touch. And the bridge itself has been torn off by storms. Liam isn't afraid of the marine growth. We follow Jasmine, and she points out the water cannon which was used for fighting fires on other boats. 
It has some stinging hydroids on it, so Liam isn't sure he wants to touch it. Elise takes a break on the cargo boom, cause diving is really tiring, and there's a great view. But Christine found something you don't normally see on a wreck. A grouper is actually visiting a cleaning station behind a ladder. It takes him a while to get used to my presence, but once he decides I'm not a threat, he opens his mouth to allow tiny cleaner gobies to clean his teeth. It's an unspoken rule of the sea. Nobody eats the cleaner fish. Eventually, the cleaning is over and the grouper heads out. We take a cue from the fish and head back to the surface. That dive was amazing. The ship on its side makes everything so much cooler. Man, the wreck is so much more interesting than it was in 2009. Not only is the tilt just really spooky and cool, but just the whole atmosphere of the wreck has gotten much more, I, I can't really describe it, like ethereal. Just swimming through it is so much fun. I'm betting the kids had a blast. In the eight years since I last dove the kitty wake, the wreck has changed significantly. It has tilted on its side, sunk into the sand, lost some of its superstructure, and grown more marine life. But all of these changes have only made the wreck more interesting to dive. It's more colorful, more fun, and there's more to see. Like a fine wine, wrecks usually get better with age, and the kitty wake is no exception. Hey everyone! Thanks for watching our latest episode all the way to the end! Hit that subscribe button now so you won't miss our next episode! And check out our new second channel, Blue World Plus, for some awesome behind-the-scenes vlogs and extras!